But the heat, the heat for the fire was really hot. The vacant church in East Durham this morning and tonight investigators are trying to figure out how it started. This is on the corner of South Holman and East Main Streets. Yeah, and this is not the first time this neighborhood has seen a fire like this in a vacant building. CBS 17's Ben Boken is live for us tonight with this story, digging deeper into how this fire and others like it have having an impact on the uh, East Durham area. Ben. Well, this abandoned church behind me reduced to rubble as crews spent the day tearing the rest of it down. Now, the neighbors in this neighborhood tell me they've seen plenty of suspicious fires around this area in the recent months. Flames shooting into the sky, sending firefighters rushing to the scene of this massive fire at an abandoned church on East Main Street. Smoke seen from miles away, and tonight a charred pile of bricks is all that's left. The church, vacant for years, one of many in the neighborhood. Living right across the street, Fred Kennedy has watched three buildings burn down on his block in the last year. At least one of them ruled as arson. Oh, the whole thing, all that in, in the same type of way, the whole thing in one, one whole year. It's a really wildfire. Really wild. Within the first couple weeks of July last year, there were six abandoned house fires within a half mile of the church. All of them were ruled arson in 2023. It was a huge fire, very unsafe. Uh, thankfully, we don't believe anybody was in there and uh, it was un unoccupied. We just recently acquired it. We had intentions of developing the property. This old church recently acquired by the Durham Rescue Mission as they had plans to redevelop the property. There's no word on what caused this fire, but DFD says there are a number of different possibilities. It's a variety of sources. Sometimes it is an arson and we have no idea what, what this one this morning was or you know, any indication that, that it could be related in any way. Um, so it could be that, it could just be, you know, accidental. Right now, the fire remains under investigation as neighbors witness yet another building burning to the ground. Right now, everything got burned down and rebuilt. Burned down and rebuilt, that's all. Now, we don't know what the cause of this fire was today, and we're still waiting to hear what the results of the investigation are. A spokesperson with the Durham Fire Department told me earlier today that he doesn't believe any of those arsons from July of 2023 were ever solved. We're live here in Durham. Ben Boken, CBS 17 News. All right, Ben, thank you.